Do you remember modular smartphones like Google Ara? It was a project from a long time ago where the idea is that your smartphone will have interchangeable components that can be hot swapped whenever you wish. The basic panel would be the same thing, but you can change the modules like the camera, speakers, etc. based on what you need. It was dope, you know. If I favor a bigger battery but I don't care about cameras, I can swap the battery unit and the cameras around. And if I'm a music person who wants a lot of speakers, I can add those. These modules would be held together by magnets and would be easy to replace. I think this whole idea came up with the concept of phone blocks. The original inventor never really wanted to make a company, he just wanted to have a different thought to bring about a change in the usual design we have. And that's exactly what happened. A lot of companies adopted his design ideas, most notably Google's Project Ara. They developed that a lot and they even had some prototypes working just as advertised. That's really impressive and that was like 8-9 years ago. So then why aren't we all using modular phones these days? Well, that's because the project and the idea itself kind of failed. Even after the project Ara was terminated, we did see a few spin-offs from say LG. The LG G5 had a removable component and they had a whole suit of hot swapping accessories which they called LG Friends. But it only lasted one generation and they went back to a regular slab design with the LG G6. Same with Motorola, if you remember, they had Moto Mods. There were magnetic pins on the back of their Z series phones and you could attach a speaker mod or a projector mod directly to your phone. But even that eventually did not get anywhere. But why? Well, there are a couple of reasons. I think the first and the biggest reason is that only a few players were controlling the whole game. Especially with the Project Ara. I mean, there were a few attempts from other brands too, but Google was pretty much the biggest and most notable one. They gave themselves an unrealistic deadline of two years to develop that Ara phone and push it out to public. In my opinion, that was the dumbest thing to do. I mean, think about the normal phones we have these days. It took a lot of time to even even refine a regular metal and glass slab design. After a lot of fine tuning, we finally have a good balance of performance, battery life, good cameras and build quality. That's why today we are fortunate enough that you can just go out and buy any phone you want and you'll likely have a good experience. I've been using a smartphone since 20. 10. Damn, that's a long time. Imagine if it took that long to fine tune and fully develop a regular phone without any moving components. Why did they think they can reimagine the whole concept of a phone in two years? I mean, their reasoning was that giving them a time limit would increase innovation and remove red tape and all that. Just classic MBA bullshit talk. The engineering behind an innovation requires genuine time to put effort. If some MBA idiot says that, no, no, we can just uh, do this and that, it won't work. And the second reason is probably that that people don't care. Yes, it's a cool concept, but people just don't care. It was evident because there was another project made by an independent person. They had developed a smartphone kit called Kite, which you can assemble yourself. It wasn't as seamless as Project R or anything, but it was kind of functional. They even launched a Kickstarter campaign to crowdfund this project, but it didn't take off because people did not have sufficient interest to actually back it with money. People were happy with their metal and glass phones even seven years ago when phones weren't really that good. And even a company like Google couldn't put this together in a couple of years, which means development is complicated and probably requires a lot of money too. We talked about something similar when we discussed why the pop-up selfie cameras are no longer a thing. I'm guessing it's a similar reason there. Manufacturing complexity. Phone companies are, after all, companies. They are businesses. They want to make money as easily as possible while reducing or removing complexity. And while these moving components are super cool, I don't think they'll continue much longer. Even the simplest moving components like the folding phone for example which is manually open and close even that took such a long time to develop that's the thing moving and hot swappable components are not that easy to manufacture especially for consumer electronics and that is why we are stuck with soldered ram in our laptops because it's easier for companies it sucks but it is what it is what do you think did you even know about project ara or these swapping component phones let me know your thoughts